and Shireen Bhan caught up with the coal secretary Anil Swaroop to find out how the coal sector has fared. She began by asking him about the reason to curtail production in the month of April. I think the offtake was not as anticipated. So we did have to cut down our production in the month of April this year. But I think it will pick up. I, we are all very, very hopeful that Uday will kick in. So what is the kind of inventory that we're currently dealing with? And you expect that to continue uh, at least for the next couple of months till Uday uh, sort of starts to transform the sector in a meaningful way? The inventory is about 50 million tons at our pit heads and about 30 odd million tons at the power plants, which mm. is pretty high. But we worked out a strategy to liquidate that. Apart from the power sector, there's a lot of demand in the steel and the aluminum sector. Mm. So we are going ahead with a lot of coal, coal auctions, uh, coal linkage auction and coal auctions, e-auctions will happen. They start this month end okay. and they will continue over the next few months till we are able to liquidate these stocks. Mm. In the meanwhile, we would believe, that, as I said, oh, they will kick in and there will be a greater demand from But the do you power believe that there well. will be demand even from sectors like steel and alu aluminum? Because those are sectors that have been uh, fairly distressed as well. So do uh, you see uh, successful e auctions? My reading of the situation is that steel is picking up mm -hmm. uh, because of the, the duties that have been imposed by, by the government on the imported steel. It has already picked up in the past couple of months. And my understanding is it will pick up further. So will the case be with aluminum and cement. Cement will pick up because of the road sector picking up. The road sector and other activities are picking up pretty fast. So we believe these sectors will also pick up. And as the economy picks up, there will be a greater demand for coal in sectors other than power. Power, of course, will be picking up over a period of time. Since we're talking about coal India, let me ask you, I know these are, of course, board decisions, but let me ask you about your perspective as well on the possibility of a buyback, on the possibility of an additional stake sale by the government in Coal India. Have there been any conversations on that front? And I also understand that uh, given Coal India's performance, you do believe that at this point perhaps investor interest uh, would accrue. You know, this is a decision that is taken by Ministry of Finance. We are consulted when their decision is taken. At this point in time, there's no such decision. But Has there been any fresh consultation, any fresh conversation around either uh, a divestment or a buyback? I, th there's been a lot in the air. Uh, people have been talking about it, but we haven't had any formal discussion, so to say, on either buyback. But or informal discussion. conversations have happened. Informal, there's so many informal conversations keep happening in the government. Hmm. I mean, I don't have to so announce what, that. What is the ministry's? Uh, uh, what is your uh, ministry's view on, on no, both? We are, we are, we are engaging with the Department of Disinvestment, and you'll get to know it very soon. All right, uh, uh, that's the take.